Sarah, I've heard that you want to move into a homestay family. Is that correct? Yes, that's right. I've been staying with my aunt, and now my cousin is arriving from Singapore, and my aunt needs the room for him. Ah,、oh, that's bad luck. Well, I'll need to get some particulars first.、Um, Sarah, what's your full name? Sarah Lim, and that's Sarah without the H at the end.、Mm-hmm. How old are you, Sarah? Twenty-three, only just. It was my birthday on the twenty-first of August. Ah, <sighs> happy birthday for yesterday. How long have you been in Australia? A year in Adelaide and six months in Sydney. I prefer Sydney. I've got more friends here. What's your address at your aunt's house? Flat one five three nine Forest Road, Canterbury, and the postcode is two o three six. Okay. What are you studying now? I was studying general English in Adelaide, and now I'm doing academic English because I'm trying to get into medicine next year. That sounds good, but it'll take you a long time. When would you like to move out from your aunt's? My cousin arrives on Friday morning, so I'd better be out on Thursday. What the seventh of September? Yes, that's right. That doesn't leave us much time. Right, okay. I need to know what kind of accommodation you'd like, so I can get you something suitable. Can I share a room with someone else? I've been alone in my room at my aunt's, and I've always shared with my sister, and I like that. Yes, fine. That'll save you money too. <laughs> Would you like to live with a family, or do you think that a single person would be better for you? I have lots of very nice single people on my books. Do you have any women living alone, retired women? Yes, I have quite a few whose children have grown up and left home. In fact, I have some really lovely retired ladies living by themselves who just love the company of students. Most of them live in flats, but that's not a problem for you, is it? Not at all. I'm used to that. My aunt lives in a flat too. Remember,、hmm. I'm not used to a big house with a garden, swimming pool, pets, and all that. Okay, fine. I know quite a bit about what you want now. I should let you know that your rent will be $160 per week. You'll have to pay me $320 as a deposit before you move in. The deposit is as insurance in case you break something. You'll need to pay monthly to me by cash or check. I don't mind. You don't need to pay for gas, electricity, or water, but you will need to pay your proportion of the phone bill. Most families do that on an honor system, but you'll have to wait and see.、Mm. Have you got any more questions for me?、Uh, when will you know where I can go? I'll work on it now. So come and see me tomorrow, and I should have some news for you then. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. After lunch will be better for me. Okay. See you then. Bye. How can I help you? I understand that the school organizes、um, trips to different. Yes, we run five every month: three during weekends and two Wednesday afternoon trips. What sort of places? Well, obviously it varies, but always places of historical interest, and also which offer a variety of shopping because our students always ask about that. And then we go for ones where we know there are guided tours because this gives a good focus for the visit.、Um, do you travel far? Well, we're lucky here, obviously, because we're able to say that all our visits are less than three hours' drive. How much do they cost? Again, it varies between five and fifteen pounds a head, depending on distance. Uh huh. Oh, and we do offer to arrange special trips if you know there are more than twelve people. Oh, right. I'll keep that in mind. And、uh, what are the times normally? We try to keep it pretty fixed so that that students get to know the pattern. We leave at eight thirty a.m. and return at six p.m. We figure it's best to keep the day fairly short. Oh yes, and、um, how do we reserve a place? You sign your name on the notice board. Do you know where it is? Uh huh. I saw it this morning. And we do ask that you sign up three days in advance, so we know we've got enough people interested to run it, and we can cancel if necessary, with full refund, of course. That's fine. Thanks. And what visits are planned for this term? I'm afraid the schedule hasn't been printed out yet, but、uh, we have confirmed the dates and planned the optional extra visits, which you can also book in advance if you want to.
Oh, that's all right. Um, if you can just give some idea of the weekend ones, so I can, you know, work out when to see friends, etc. Oh, sure. First one is St. Ives. That's on the 13th of February, and we'll have only 16 places available, because we're going by minibus. And that's a day in town with the optional extra of visiting the Hepworth Museum. All right. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, then there's a London trip on the 16th of February, and we'll be taking a medium-sized coach, so there'll be 45 places on that. And let's see, the optional extra is the Tower of London. Oh, I've already been there. Ah. Uh, after that, there's Bristol on the 3rd of March. Where? Bristol, B-R-I-S-T-O-L. OK. That's in a different minibus with 18 places available. Oh, and the optional extra is a visit to the SS Great Britain. OK. We're going to Salisbury on the 18th of March. And that's always a popular one because the optional extra is Stonehenge. Ah. So we're taking the large coach with 50 seats. Oh, good. And then the last one is to Bath on the 23rd of March. Oh, yes. Is Bath the Roman city? Yes, that's right. And that's in the 16-seater minibus. And where's the optional visit? It's to the American Museum. Well worth a visit. OK, well, that's great. Um, thanks for all that. My pleasure. Oh, by the way, if you want more information about any of the trips, have a look in the student newspaper. OK. Or have a word with my assistant. Her name is Jane Yentob. That's Y-E-N-T-O-B. Right, I've got that. Thank you very much for all your help. You're very welcome. I hope you enjoy the trips. Good morning, Burnham Coaches. Sarah speaking. How can I help you? Ah, yes. Good morning. I'm a teacher at the Down Language School. We have a bit of a problem, and I was wondering if you could help us out. What is the problem exactly? Well, we normally take our students on an excursion at the end of their course. But unfortunately, the coach firm we normally use has let us down. It seems they've gone out of business. I'm sorry to hear that. I suppose you are looking for a replacement. Well, yes. We won't need a very large coach, actually. There will be 30 students and four teachers. So that's 34 in all. And what dates did you have in mind? The last Saturday and Sunday of this month. That's the 28th and 29th. The 28th and 29th. Does that mean you are planning to stay somewhere overnight? That's right. Actually, we want to do the same excursion that we do every year. We usually visit Stonehenge, Salisbury, and stay overnight in Bath. It's a historical tour, really. It sounds interesting. Let me just see what we have available. Oh dear, I'm afraid all our coaches are booked out for the 28th. It's the busiest time of the year for us, actually. I was afraid that would be a problem. But you have a coach available for the 29th? Yes, we do. And it's available for the 30th as well, if that's any help to you. I'm afraid not. Sunday is the last day. The students go home on Monday. I think we'll just have to change our plans a bit and leave out Salisbury. It's a shame, but I don't think we can fit in all three places in one day. So, you would like to book the coach for the 29th, visiting Stonehenge and Bath, is that right? Yes, I think so. Right, I just need a few details, sir. OK, my name is Paul Scott. S-C-T? It's double T, actually. I'm sorry, and it's the Down Language School. Could you give me the address for that, Mr Scott? Yes, it's Down House, Hill Street, Brighton. Do you need the postcode? No, that's not necessary, but I do need a contact number. Of course. The number for the school secretary is 01273 512 634. You can contact her if you need to speak to anyone. Right. And what time would you like the coach to pick you up? Well, I think we'll have to make an early start. Would 7.30 be all right? Yes, no problem at all. What time do you want to be back? Any time between 10 and 11 will be all right. Not later than 11, though. Right, I'll make a note of that. 11pm latest. There's just one more thing I need to know. Presumably, you'll be visiting Stonehenge first. How long do you want to stay there? We normally stay about an hour. The main objective of the excursion is for the students to see the Georgian architecture in Bath, really. Yes, Bath is lovely, isn't it? I was there myself a couple of years ago. I thought the Royal Crescent was absolutely stunning. I hadn't realised how large it is. Well, I think that's all I need to know, Mr Scott. Thank you for booking with us. Just a minute. There's one thing you seem to have forgotten. 
How much will this cost? Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I was thinking about Bath. Just bear with me a moment. Yes, it's a round trip of 300 miles and a total time of 16 hours for the driver. For a 45-seater coach, that will be a total of £500, including tax and insurance. Do we have to have such a large coach? There are only 34 of us. We don't have any smaller coaches, I'm afraid. Oh well, at least we won't be cramped for space. When do we have to pay? We require a 20% deposit to confirm the booking. I suggest that you do that as soon as possible, today if you can. The balance you can give to the driver, if you're paying by cheque. Have the cheque made out to Burnham Coaches. I think that'll be all right. I will have to check this with the school accountant, but if all is well, I'll arrange for someone to bring you the deposit within the next two hours. That'll be fine, Mr Scott. Well, thank you very much indeed. Oh, Peter, there you are. You've been ages. What kept you so long? I'm sorry I'm so late, Sally. Have you been waiting long? Oh, half an hour. But it doesn't matter. I've had a coffee, and I've been reading this guidebook for tourists. Sit down. Mm. You look very hot and tired. <sighs> what would you like to drink? I'd love a really chilled mineral water or something. Will you have another coffee? Yes, I will. The waitress will be back in a moment. Why were you so late? Did something happen? Yes. You know, I went to the bank to cash some traveller's checks. Mm -hmm. Well, the exchange rate was looking healthy, but when I went to the teller, they told me the computer system was temporarily down, so they couldn't do any transactions. They said the problem would be fixed in a few minutes, so I waited. And then I started talking to another guy in the bank, and I forgot the time. <laughs> really? Someone you met in the bank? Does he work there? No, he was a tourist from New York. His name's Henry, and he's been here for a week, but he's moving on to Germany tomorrow. He's an architect, and he's spending four weeks traveling around Europe. Just like us? Yeah, just like us. He told me the names of some places where we should eat. Great food and not too expensive, he said. Oh, and he also gave me this map of the bus system. He said he didn't need it anymore. Oh, that's useful. Pity he's moving on tomorrow. Ah, here's the waitress. Let's order. Do you want anything to eat or should we just have a drink? Well, I'm hungry and we've got a lot of sightseeing to do. So let's just have a snack and a drink. Sounds good to me. Well, let's decide what we'll see today. I guess the best place to start is the cathedral. And then the castle. What are the opening times for those two? Well, according to this guidebook, the cathedral is only open from 9.30 in the morning until midday. Oh. Oh, no, hang on. That's the cathedral museum. Oh. The cathedral itself is open morning and afternoon. Mm. The castle is just open from 1 to 5, so we can't go there until after lunch. Mm. I really want to spend some time in the Ark, because they've got this wonderful painting by Rembrandt that I've always wanted to see. What else should we see? Well, the guidebook says the botanical gardens are worth spending some time in, and they're open all day from 8 to 6, so we can go there any time. Mm -hmm. I'd like to go to the markets near the river, too, but uh, no, wait, that's only in the mornings, too. Uh, as well as today and tomorrow, we can see some other places on Monday, you know. But I don't think the markets will be open then. They only open on Thursdays, so we've missed them for this week. Maybe we should go to the cathedral today because it's Sunday tomorrow and even though it's open every day, it might be more difficult to get in tomorrow because of the church services. Mm, that's true. But the art gallery isn't open on Sundays at all, so we'll have to go there today. Mm. The castle's open every day except Mondays, so we're OK there. And the gardens, of course, only close at night. Are all these places free or do we have to pay to go in? What does the guidebook say? I think there's a charge for all of them, except the botanical gardens. Uh. Oh, and the markets. Of course, you don't pay to go in. OK. Well, it looks like our plan is this. We'll go to see the painting you like first, the, the Rembrandt, uh, then have lunch and go on to the castle after that, and then the cathedral. OK. It says here that the roof of the cathedral is really beautiful. Is that right? What I really want to do at the cathedral is climb the tower. The view is supposed to be spectacular. <laughs> OK, well, that'll be more than enough for today. Then tomorrow, let's go to the botanical gardens and have a picnic. Hmm. I want to sit by the river and watch the swans. <laughs> this city's famous for them. Good morning. How can I help you? Good morning. Um, I understand you help fix up students with host families. That's right. Are you interested in... Uh, yes. Well, please sit down and I'll just take a few details. Oh, thank you. Right. Now, what name is it? Jenny Chan. 
Can you spell that, please? Yes, J E N N Y C H A N. Right. And what is your present address? Sea View Guest House, fourteen Hill Road. Okay. And do you know the phone number there? Yes, I, I have it here, two two three seven six seven six. But I'm only there after about seven p.m. So when would be the best time to catch you? I suppose between nine and let me see, half past before I leave for the college. Great. And can I ask you your age? I've just had my nineteenth birthday. And how long would you want to stay with the host family? I'm planning on staying a year, but at the moment I'm definitely here for four months only. I have to get an extension to my permit. You're working on it?、Mm. Fine. And what will be your occupation while you're in the UK? Studying English. And what would you say your level of English is? I'd like to say advanced, but my written work is below the level of my spoken, so I suppose it's intermediate.、Mm, certainly, your spoken English is advanced. Anyway, which area do you think you would prefer? Well, I'm studying right in the centre, but I'd really like to live in the northwest. That shouldn't be a great problem. We usually have lots of families up there. And do you have any particular requirements for diet? Well, I'm nearly a vegetarian, not quite. Shall I say you are? It's probably easier that way. <laughs> that would be best. Anything about your actual room?、Uh, I would prefer my own facilities, ensuite. Is that right? And also, if it's possible, a TV. And I'd also like the house to have a real garden rather than just a yard, somewhere I could sit and be peaceful. Is that all? Well, I'm really serious about improving my English, so I'd prefer to be the only guest, if that's possible. No other guests. Yes, you get more practice that way. Anyway, obviously, all this is partly dependent on how much you're willing to pay. What did you have in mind? I was thinking in terms of about sixty to eighty pounds a week, but I'd go up to a hundred if it was something special. Well, I don't think we'd have any problems finding something for you. Oh, good. And when would you want it for? I'd like to move in approximately two weeks. Let me see. It's the tenth today, so if we go for the Monday, it's the twenty-third of March. Yes. Right. Good. And if I could ask. Good morning. Please take a seat. How can I help you? Well, I'm thinking of buying a new car, and I'd like some advice. Sure. Yes. Had you got any particular make in mind? I'm interested in a leader. I've had one before and liked it, but I haven't really made up my mind. Sure. We've got various models. Um. Right. What about the engine size? Any ideas? Uh, the one I've got at the moment's a 1.2 liter engine, but I find it a bit slow on long journeys.、Mm. I'd like a bit more power this time. A 1.4 should do. I don't think I need a 1.6 or anything. Right. Well, I think the model you're looking at is the Max.、Oh. Here's a picture. Oh, yes. Have you got one in? Yes. I'll take you to have a look at it in a minute. I'll just get a few more details.、Uh, Is there anything else to do with the engine? What kind of gear change do you want? I presume you want a manual. I'd want automatic. I've never driven a car with manual gears. Right. Well, now here's the colour chart for the Max. Have you given that any thought? Oh, this blue is very popular at the moment. Yes, it is nice. I like blue. Um, what's it called? Royal. Yes. But actually, I think I prefer this lighter shade here. Sky. Yes, that's popular too. I think I'll go for that. You might have to wait a week or so for that colour, but I assume that'll be okay. Oh yes, fine. Well, we can go outside and you can have a good look at one, and perhaps take it out.、Mm. But first, can I just ask you about finance? The cash price is going to be somewhere in the region of seven and a half thousand. How would you like to pay? Are you in a position to pay cash, or would you need credit? I'd like credit, provided the terms are reasonable. Well, you can discuss that with my colleague in a moment. We have various arrangements. And、um, would you be interested in us taking your present car as part exchange? Yes. Okay, fine. So I'll just need some details from you, and then we can do a valuation. Is that okay? Fine. Yes. Could I have your full name? Wendy Harries. That H A R R I E S. And is that Mrs. Miss Muzz? It's Doctor, actually. Oh right. And your address? Twenty Green Banks. Is that green spelled as in the colour? Yes, that's right. Okay. Alton. Is that O L T O N? Not quite. It begins with an A, not an O. Oh yes, that's in Hampshire, isn't it? That's right. And do you know your postcode? Uh, yes, it's G U eight nine E W. Do you have a daytime phone number? Well, I work at the hospital, but it's a bit difficult to get hold of me. I can give you a number just for messages, and then I'll get back to you when I can. Is that okay? That's fine. It's o seven nine eight two five seven six four three. Fine. 
And about the car you have now, what make is it? It's a Conti. Do you know the year or the model name? I think it's 1996, and it's called a Lion, like the animal. Then it must be 1994 because they brought out the Fox after that. Oh right, yes.、Yeah. Mileage, roughly? I'm not sure. I know it's less than seventy thousand. Okay. What colour is it? It's grey, metallic grey. Right. And one last thing: what sort of condition would you say it's in? I'd probably describe it as reasonable. Do you need to see it? It's parked outside. Not at the moment, no. Perhaps you could call in one day next week. Good morning, North College Library. How can I help you? I was wondering if it was possible to join the library. Are you a student at North College? No, I'm not. But someone told me it was possible to join, even if I wasn't. That's right. It is. Are you over eighteen? That's our minimum joining age. Yes, I am. That's no problem then. Could you tell me what I have to do to join? Well, you'll need to come into the library and fill out some forms. You'll also need to bring two passport photos with you. We also need two documents for ID, so a driving license would be fine. I've got that. What else? A credit card? No, it needs to have your address on it. Shall I bring a bank statement? Would that do? That'll be fine. Good. Does it cost anything to join? Well, it's free for students here, but otherwise it's £125 per year, or £25 if you've got a current student card from another college. I was at Westerly College until last year, but now I've got a job at Jefferson Steel Factory. It's more expensive than I thought. My local library is free. But you'll find they don't have the range of reference books or facilities which we buy for our students. That's why you have to pay to be an external member. How many books can I borrow? We allow twelve items borrowed at any one time if you're a student, and that includes CDs, DVDs, and videos. However, it's only eight items for members of the public. Fine. And how long can I have them for? Well, you can have both fiction and reference books for four weeks, which isn't bad, really. And what happens if I return them late? Like all libraries, there's a fine system in place. The minimum fine is one pound fifty, but it can be much higher for some items, up to five pounds per week. We'll give you a booklet with all the details when you join. You can always renew items if they're not required by anyone else by telephoning or logging onto our website. What about the computers? Can I use them free of charge? For college students, it's free, but for external members like yourself, the first hour is free, and then we make a nominal charge of one pound per hour thereafter. Do I have to book in advance for them? Oh yes, it's advisable. Most people tend to book twenty-four hours in advance, although sometimes you can get one with only six hours' notice. However, the earliest you can book a computer is forty-eight hours before you need it, and you can only book one hour at a time. If no one else has booked the computer out, then you may be able to have another hour if you want. We have a wide range of databases, so the computers are in great demand. I'm thinking of doing some writing, and I might need to access national newspapers. Do you have them on these databases? We do indeed. We've got all the big nationals: the Guardian and the Observer, the Independent and the Times and Sunday Times. We've also got all the local papers and a wide selection of magazines. Excellent. I assume you have photocopying facilities. Of course, five p a sheet for both A4 and A3 black and white copies, and forty p a sheet for colour. You can get a card from the counter here. It doesn't take coins. By the way, another thing I was wondering about was if you ran any writing classes through the library. We do, but you'll have to speak to John Grantingham about that. He's our resident author. He runs the creative writing classes. John Grant,、uh, could you spell that for me, please? Certainly. G R A N T I N G H A M. Are the classes here at the library? Yes, he's here on Thursday evenings. Oh no, sorry, Friday. He's just changed it. You can contact him by emailing the library. Okay, right. Well, that's about all I need to know. Thank you. I'll be along later this week to join. Good afternoon, Dreamtime Travel. How can I help you? Oh, hello. I'm interested in the holidays you offer along the coast near here. Yes, we operate several tours up the coast. Where in particular did you want to go? Well, I like the sound of the holiday that mentioned whales. Whale watching. Oh, that's our whale watch experience. It's very popular, and it's based in a lovely little town with nice beaches. Oh right. And how long does it last? It's two days. That includes four hours travel time each way from here. Good. I don't want to be away any longer than that. Is that by coach? Actually, it's by minibus. We like to keep those tours small and personal, so we don't take a whole coachload of people. In fact, 
We only take up to 15 people on this tour, although we do run it with just 12 or 13. Oh, right. So do you run these tours often? Well, it depends on the time of year. Of course, in peak times, like the summer holidays, we do them every weekend. But at the moment, it's usually once a month at most. And when is the next one going? There's one in three weeks' time, which is April the 18th, and then we don't have another one until uh, June the 2nd. All right. Um, and is April a good time to go? Pretty good, though the really good time is later in the year. I have to say, though, that the whale sighting is only one of the many things offered. Really? Yes. The hotel itself, where you stay, has great facilities. It's called the Palisades. Uh, the Paris what? No, it's actually the Palisades, P-A-L-L-I-S-A-D-E-S. -L -L -E it's right on the main beach there. Oh, I see. All of the rooms have nice views, and the food is really good there, too. Oh, right. And what about the other things, um, you know, that are included in the price? Oh, there are lots of things. If you don't want to do the Whale Watch cruise, your guide will take anyone who is interested either on a bushwalk through the National Park near the hotel and there's no extra charge for that, or on a fishing trip. That's an extra $12, I think. And there's also a reptile park in town. That costs more or less the same. No, I think I'd prefer whales to snakes. Yeah, and if you just want to relax, you're free to sit by the hotel pool or go down the beach. Oh, and they also have tennis courts at the hotel, but you have to pay for those by the hour. But there are table tennis tables downstairs, and they're part of the accommodation package. Just speak to your guide. Well, that sounds good. Um. So how much is the basic tour price? At this time of year, it's usually around $300, but let me check. It's actually $280. And the next tour, are there any places on that one? How many people is it for? There are two of us. Yes, that should be fine. Can I just mention that we require all bookings to be made at least 14 days before you travel to avoid cancellations of tours? And if you cancel within seven days of departure you will have to pay 50% of your total booking. OK. And you also need to pay a 20% deposit at the time of booking. Can I pay that by credit card? Yes, you can. All right. Uh, what I'll do is I'll talk to my partner and get back to you. Fine. So I'll make a provisional booking, shall I? Two for the Whale Watch experience. Let me issue you with a customer reference number for when you call back. Do you have a pen? Yes. OK. It's 397 45 T. That's T for Tango. When you call back, ask to speak to the tour manager. That's me, Tracy. Fine, I will. Hello, this is Land Transport Information at Toronto Airport. How may I help you? Oh, good morning. Um, I'm flying to Toronto Airport next week, and I need to get to a town called um, Milton. Could you tell me how I can get there? Milton, did you say? Let me see. I think that's about 150 miles southwest of here. In fact, it's 147 miles, to be exact. So it'll take you at least, say, three to four hours by road. Wow. Is it as far as that? Yes, I'm afraid so. But you have a number of options to get you there, and you can always rent a car right here at the airport, of course. Right. Well, I don't really want to drive myself, so I'd like more information about public transport. Okay. In that case, the quickest and most comfortable is a cab, and of course there are always plenty available, but it'll cost you. You can also take a Greyhound bus, or there's an airport shuttle service to Milton. Oh, I think for that kind of distance, a cab would be way beyond my budget. But the bus sounds okay. Can you tell me how much that would cost? Sure. Let's see. That would be $15 one way, or twenty-seven fifty return. That's on the Greyhound. Ah, oh, that's quite cheap. Great. Uh, well, whereabouts does it stop in Milton? It goes directly from the airport here to the city centre, and it's pretty fast. But you have to bear in mind that there is only one departure a day, so it depends what time your flight gets in. Ah, oh, of course. Hang on. Are we due to get there at 11.30am? Mmm, too bad. The bus leaves at 3.45, so you would have quite a wait, more than four hours. Oh, I see. Well, what about the shuttle you mentioned? Okay. That's the airport shuttle that will take you from the airport right to your hotel or private address. It's a door-to-door -door service, and it would suit you much better because there's one every two hours. So how much does that cost? Let's see. Uh, yeah, that's $35 one way, $65 return. So I guess it's a bit more expensive than the Greyhound. Oh, that doesn't sound too bad, especially if it'll take me straight to the hotel. But you do need to reserve a seat. Okay. 
Is it possible to make a booking right now, through you? Sure. Okay, I just have to fill this form out for you. So, what date do you want to book this for? The 16th of October. Oh, oh no, sorry, that's my departure date. I arrive on the 17th, so book it for then, please. So, that's the Toronto Airport Shuttle to Milton. And this is for just one person, or...? Yeah, yeah, just me, please. Right. And you said your expected time of arrival was 11.30? So if I book your shuttle for after 12, let's say 12.30, that should give you plenty of time to, you know, collect your baggage, maybe grab a coffee? Yeah, that sounds fine. As long as we land on time. Well, we'll take your flight details, so you don't need to worry too much about that. Now, what about the fare? What sort of ticket do you want? One way, or...? Yeah, that'll be fine. Provided I can book the return trip once I'm there. No problem. Just allow a couple of days in advance to make sure you get a seat. And what is your name, please? Janet. Janet Thompson. Is that Thompson spelled with a P? No, it's T-H-O-M-S-O-N. Okay. And you'll be coming from the UK? Uh, what flight will you be travelling on? Oh, uh, it's Air Canada flight number AC936 from London Heathrow. Right. Now, do you know where you'll be staying? We need to give the driver an address. Yes, it's called the Vacation Motel, and I think it's near the town centre. Anyway, the address is 24 Kitchener Street. That's K-I-T-C-H-E-N-E-R Street. That's fine. Right, so that's $35 to pay, please. Have you got your credit card number there? Yes, it's a Visa card, and the number is 3303... 8450-2045-6837. Okay. Well, that seems to be everything. Have a good trip, and we'll see you in Toronto next week. Yes, bye. Oh, thanks for your help. Thorndyke. Good morning. Is that Mr. Thorndyke? Speaking. How can I help? I've got quite a few things which need painting and fixing in the flat, and I wonder whether you'd be able to do the work. I'm sure I'd be able to help, but let me take down a few details. Yes, of course. Well, uh, firstly, how did you hear about us? It was my friend May Hampton. You did some excellent work for her a couple of years ago. Do you remember? Oh, yes. That was in West Park Flats. Lovely lady. Yes, she is. And what's your name, please? It's Edith Pargeter. Edith, can you spell your surname, please? It's P-A-R-G-E-T-T-E-R. Double T, right. And do you live in West Park Flats as well? No, actually, it's East Park, Flat 4. Oh, right. That's over the road, I seem to remember. Quite difficult to get to. Yes, it's at the back of the library. Right, I know. And uh, what's your phone number? 875-934, but I'm out a great deal in the afternoons and evenings. So, would the best time to ring you be in the morning? Yes. Fine, I've made a note of that. Can I just ask, I'll be in a van, and I know parking's rather difficult around your flat. Where would you recommend? Well, I always tell people in larger vehicles to park by the post box on the other side of the road from the entrance. Good, thanks. And will you be able to give me a full itemised quote? Oh, yes. I'll list all the jobs separately with individual prices. That'd be a great help. No problem. Now, what would you like me to do? Firstly, and most urgently, is in the kitchen. With all the weather damage, the glass in the door has cracked and I'd need that fixing. I presume you mean replacing? Oh, yes. And as soon as possible. What I'll do is come round tomorrow morning and do that immediately. Oh, thank you so much. The other things aren't so urgent, but... Now, I'll make a note of everything you want doing. Well, in the kitchen, I'd like some painting doing. All the kitchen walls? Just the area over the cooker. It's very greasy. Right. It does tend to get that way. Yes. Well, if you want a proper job done, what I'd need to do is strip the old paint and plaster it about a week before I paint it. Of course. Now, May tells me you also do work in the garden. That's right. Well, I'd like you to replace a fence. Just one? Yes, at the far end. Fine. Shouldn't be a problem. And that's the lot. Fine. Yeah, as I say, I can come round tomorrow morning to look over things with you. Well, that's great. Thank you. So, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow at...